Hey guys, what's up? Synergy here, and we're bringing you a brand new video. This one's going to be the weekly nightfall, and it's all based on solar damage this week. So what we're going to do is we're going to get into it, and we are going to show you the fastest way to obviously complete it and get right to the very end at Nexus. Now, what ended up happening as well is some of my actual clan members from Darkmass ended up asking me for an invite because they saw that I was in the nightfall. So I wasn't going to deny them that opportunity, so at the end they are going to get an invite as well, guys. So obviously it won't be sort of a solo one, this. You'll see it soloing all the way up. But I'm going to be kind to them and I'm going to let them have their weekly nightfall nice and easy. You can see here I nearly make a deadly mistake and get hit down pretty hard. So we're just going to get straight back into cover. And then we're going to end up taking out the rest of the ads at the same time. So what we're using is we are using as a warlock the Sunsinger perk. We're using our second grenade. I think it's Firebolt grenade. Um, we've got three different weapons that are currently equipped at the moment. We have a fusion rifle that is fire. Everything that is fire is going to carry you through this nightfall a lot quicker. The fusion rifle that I've got, obviously I only got that from a nightfall the time before that I did it. And it wasn't really doing much damage, but my fully upgraded Galahorn and my fully upgraded Vision of Confluence. Boom, job done. Simple as that. Now you can see here what I'm doing is I am using those firebolt grenades just to clear out the packs nice and easy. So obviously this will be the fastest way for a warlock to do it. At the same time I'm just making sure I don't get damaged too much in the process. And we're moving on to servitor number two. We're just going to plant a rocket in him and he gets one shotted. Now we've got a pack over here, we're just going to plant another rocket over there. What we're going to do is we're going to keep nice and easy on the heavy ammo synths and we're going to use them at the right time. Um, basically when I do end up inviting the people, because I am waiting for them, I do end up going down in this one. However, they've already spawned in and that's mainly due to the Praetorian actual teleport. You'll see it exactly when we get up to it anyway guys. Right, so we're using our second super, and we're just going to clear out these packs here. We're not too worried about the servitor at the minute. We can focus on him in a minute. There we go. We'll plant a rocket straight to his face, and we are moving on. <coughs> okay, the upper level's open. Right, now the upper level's open, so all we're going to do is we're just going to take out the rest that are right here. Now, instead of going your regular way, guys, I'm going to show you a different way to go. Some people may already know this already. Right, so we took out the three that are going to be the threat. We're just looking around, seeing if there's any heavy ammo that has dropped anywhere, just in case. Because we can always use more rockets, and you can never really have enough rockets in the nightfalls. That is the window that we're going to be jumping up on. You can see me doing it right here actually hit the ledge there so I'm just gonna go in for a second time and I end up falling down <laughs> so that was a complete fail but here we go straight through the window and we can just skip all the rest of them ads if you don't skip the ads chances are you will get some heavy ammo from those packs as well but I'm just showing you the quick way of doing it and get it done now what we're going to do here is we're going to skip as much as we possibly can. So the first ones we can't really skip, so we just need to take a few of them out. Boom, boom, and boom. There we go. So we'll clear a pathway in effect. Right, now that we've cleared the pathway, we're just going to take out the rest of these ads anyway. So we're kind of bored at the same time, so we could have done this quicker just by running through. And Burning Man, this is only 11 minutes anyway, so I'm not going to keep you waiting too long. You obviously want a good fire weapon for these, and just shoot them in the eyeball, take the shield down nice and fast. Once the shield is down, they'll get taken out nice and quick. We're going to use that firebolt grenade in a second, as you can see, just there. Obviously, that was a complete fail, so we're just going to take one out. We've got our supercharger now. They're going to be spawning from both sides. You need to bear this in mind, guys. We'll just shoot that harpy, but we know the goblins are going to be coming as well. And you'll see them right there. 
Right now for the goblins we are using that firebolt grenade and we're just going to clear out the packs as much as possible. You can see the orbs spawning right there. And we're just checking that side, making sure nothing's in the way. Going to use our Galahorn in a minute. Take out the Axis Goblin, which is basically a wannabe Praetorian. Now we're going to shoot the Axis Hobgoblins. So there we go. Now you can see Chicken Runners join the party, and obviously there'll be Connor as well. They're the two people who's going to be asking for an invite, so we're not going to deny them that chance. And obviously, um, that's what friends do. They help each other out. Right, so we got one Axis Hobgoblin. There we go, we've made him shield, so we can just take him out nice and easy there. Okay, next part, we have the Axis Minotaurs. So we just take them out with one rocket while they're clustered together. And we've got our next supercharger. This should give us enough time for a synth. And we're moving on. So we're just going to kill these nice and easy. Obviously you do get hit down a little bit, but they're not going to kill you as long as you kill them nice and quick. The next part we're going to move on to in the Sunzinger is we're going to be using that Super and the Firebolt Grenade again. So this is going to be your Warlock tutorial guys. And girls, sorry. Alright, here we go. So all we're going to do is we're just going to nade and spam nade. Don't need to waste any ammo on anything until those nades run out. There we go, and we've only got two left. So we're just going to shoot them down. And this is about the time where they end up asking for the invite. Um, they ask for the invite just as I literally get through. It would have been easier for me if they asked for the invite, like, say, two minutes before. Because you're going to see exactly why. As soon as you go through this cave, what ends up happening is you do end up with the Praetorians that end up spawning behind you as long as you're staying up here. So there you go, you can see player joined you, our gamer Connor. And we're just planting some rockets in the Minotaurs at the bottom. We're not too worried about the back spawn just yet. You just want to take these out, nice and easy. You've got the last guardian standing, so we know he's going to spawn in. And now we can synth. Right, so we synth. <clears throat> and here's where it goes wrong. Rocket, oh crap. Oh no, wait, stop. We actually took that one. Now if you remember what I said before previously guys, um, about the minute of spawning, we're actually waiting for two guys to come in here at the minute. There's two guys are wanting their nightfall, we've got one guy in, we're just waiting for one more guy. You can see the Praetorian's right there, and he just teleported right past my rocket, shit. Tried to get past him, but he's too close to me and he does get a melee kill, but Connor's going to end up taking him out because he already spawned in a while ago. Connor almost gets melleed, ends up reviving me, right next to the Praetorium. Not really appreciated that one, but whatever does the job. There we go, he's been taken out as well, so the Minotaur's just gone down. So all we're doing is we're waiting for Chicken Run now. Now, here's the good thing guys, what we're going to show you is we're going to show you drop in the Nexus as well. And in a separate video, I'm going to show you how you can do this a lot quicker at the end part. It's going to be a little separate video, just solely because of the way this one panned out. And we're just going to show you some tips and tricks on how to drop him in under probably 10 seconds, to be honest with you. Now, just showing you that fusion rifle that I did get from the Nightfall, as you can see it's not doing any damage whatsoever. Well, it only does damage once his shield is off. And we've got Chicken Run here now, so we're just going to plant some more damage into the boss. We're going to end up taking quite a bit of splash here, that's what you want to be careful of. But you do need to keep an eye on behind you as well. So you can see Connor's just looking up the hill for him. 
And here he comes. I'm just going to use our vision of confluence. Not going to do much damage to us unless he gets too close. And now what we're going to do is we're going to end up finishing off this boss. Do, 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 do. One more rocket should do it. And there we go. Nexus is officially down. 11, well, actually 10 minutes, 27 seconds that. And that's from start to finish. Now bearing in mind that I was soloing it to begin with. It's just to show you that this week's Nightfall is very easy for you to solo, guys. All you need is some good fire weapons. I strongly, strongly recommend the Galahorn and obviously the Vision of Confluence Scout Rifle. They are going to literally carry you through this. Right, for now guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and peace out.